I'm calling, I have a question about how to call Hawaii. Um, is there any certain numbers I have to dial to, to... Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, beautiful, thank you so much. Right. Technology nowadays, man. Cell phone technology has even gotten, you know, into some of the most remote parts of Papua New Guinea now, you know, like places where I grew up. But there was like one telephone in the whole town when I was there as a kid. Now it's like you got people paddling down the river in a dugout canoe, like talking on a cell phone to their friend up on the hillside working in his garden, you know. How we feel it tonight? We love you. We're bringing a cool fever right now. Original. I'm in town to perform some Pacific reggae at the uh, Gallery of Modern Art. Just uh, sharing a little bit of the Pacific flavor with the people of Brisbane. Great opportunity and uh, waited a long time to come down here and play. For me, it's a very big thing to come here and be part of this, to show the phenomenon of how reggae music is big in the Pacific and how people of the Pacific relate to it. Pacific Islands, they share a very common culture. It's a very similar um, feel when you move from one Pacific Island to another. Uh, they all share that, that environment that uh, kind of tends to breed reggae fans. <laughs> the whole tropical vibe, you know? Right. Going into the radio, stir up a little bit of noise in Brisbane. Blessings. Uh, different vibe to be here, you know? So it's nice to bring the vibe from where we live and uh, share with the people here in more of an uh, urban environment. So, uh, get a little bit of their vibe too and take it back. You know? Check one, check two. I'd like to welcome Ocean here into Four Triple Z, direct from PNG via Pacific. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Tell us a little bit about the Ocean story. Old Mangi, Old Mangi, Skelly, Skelly, yo. Uh, what's your story? I guess I'm a bit of a product of uh, my environment in terms of, you know, being a, being a white kid who grew up in Papua New Guinea. Um, also lived in the States, lived in Hawaii for like 12 years. So um, I really absorbed a lot of the culture of the Pacific in my childhood and growing up there and still continuing to live there. So um, I guess I feel I'm definitely an islander at heart. <clears throat> and uh, that's the uh, environment that shaped who I am and the music I create. As a kid, I grew up mostly around all Papua New Guineans. Um, didn't hardly ever speak English growing up. Growing up in PNG, you sing a lot in school. You sing in Sunday school, you know, you... you when you don't have video games and TV and things like that, you just walk around singing with your friends. That's what we used to do. I, you know, five, six years old, we would be busting three or four part harmonies. You know, it was it just was second nature. Okay, so it's all happening at the Pacific Reggae session happening at the South Bank Stanley Place Gallery of Modern Art tonight. You know, reggae originally comes from the Caribbean, from African people in Jamaica who, who came from the struggle through, through slavery and all of that and poverty. And, and reggae in the Pacific is a product of, of, of a very vibrant and living culture that's still alive and the languages that's still are spoken. And you take that same rhythm from the Caribbean and you put it in the Pacific with all these different languages and different tribes and different cultures and things like that. It really makes it a very colorful, colorful type of music. Rebels! It's just the heartbeat of roots people and indigenous people, and um, it's it's you know music for the simple people, and it's about love and it's about unity, and that's what Pacific Island culture is all about. You know, I'm sure the people here are homesick a bit when they hear the music, so let me make them feel closer to home.
Okay. 